Months after the trial, Tory Lanez is still not sentenced. Why? Why is that? That man was supposed to be sentenced at the end of January. We're approaching the end of March. The only way a judge is going to allow that to be prolonged is still when in for a reversal or for a, a re, a, 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 another trial. And whatever they submitted, they got to have some substance or they going to sentence him and he going to go upstate and have to do his appeal from there. So the fact that they ain't just sentenced him and it been two months past his sentence, that's in his favor. Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So let's review the current status of the Tory Lanez case. He is still sitting in holding at the county, I believe. Some speculate because he has hired the new attorney, old attorney for Snoop Dogg's case, a guy by the name of David Kinner. And David Kinner has been known to help people's appeal. And he's a specialist in appeals dealing with large scale hip hop cases. We never really disclosed what his charges were. I don't right. even knew what the charges were. There place. you go. Right. And that was part of the problem. A lot of the journalists were not really reporting that either. Right. Like, right. And that's the thing. Yeah. So when you go read. Well, I was getting my uh, journalism from biased places. Absolutely. <laughs> a, a lot of us was. That's dope. <laughs> they was I'm, they were talking about I'm what you, you get for following these biased journalists. Nah, my timeline was lit <laughs> for like four <laughs> days with their version of what the judge was saying. <laughs> we, I like that. We. I thought he was. On trial, I thought he was charged with shooting her. <laughs> he wasn't. No, he wasn't. No. One the, of them. the charges were no, no. Good. Let ice finish. The charges were negligent discharge of a firearm, mm -hmm. assault with a semi-automatic firearm, mm -hmm. and carrying a loaded and unregistered firearm in a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Now, even the assault with a semi-automatic firearm, you would think that means he shot her, but. So it's just a threat. Yeah, just I'm, I'm reading from the penal code. Just pointing yeah, a loaded firearm at another person could be sufficient cause to support the charges. I don't know. I don't know. I'm hearing shit. I'm hearing one of the juries work for Rock Nation. You know, I'm hearing shit. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing that prior to that witness that got up there and put the gun in Tory hand. I'm hearing that wasn't his story originally. To the defense attorney and right before he took the stand they took a recess the da took that dude to the back and came out and went another way i don't know that's what his daddy was saying uh what, what i don't know i do saying. know he got the attorney that got pock out of jail when he was already convicted that's who we got now kenner right so he's good at that shit. so you know it's he's an appeal appeal attorney so I, what I do know is this, the fact that they haven't just sitting him and they keep putting it off is in his favor. See, once they sentence him, he got to go upstate and all y'all know he got to get in that USC, file them rich and go through all them phases to get back to court. Long as he's sitting in that county and not sentenced, right, he still got action of a reversal in court. So I, I personally think, I don't know what, what grounds that it ain't, it ain't finna be as bad as I, we thought it was going to be.